Welcome back, beer tubers. Today we're going to take a look at Ballast Point's Piper Down Scottish Ale. That says export ale, so I believe they're going for like a Scottish 80 shilling type of beer. It's 5.8%, so it's maybe a little on the high end for uh, an 80 shilling, but it's definitely not in, or it's not supposed to be into that Scotch ale we heavy character. They might have bottled this before, but it's been a long time. Uh, definitely a newer label. You can see the, the newer design too as well on this beer. So I don't know if this is a seasonal or going to be year round, but they're going uh, uh, as an export ale with you know pretty traditional UK ingredients, UK Maris Otter, UK hops, a little bit of roasted barley, and uh, they mentioned a three hour boil for it as well. So I got it poured out. It's a very pretty beer, very clear, uh, like not quite ruby red, like a dark orange copper. Uh, with uh, a little bit of like a burnt orange characteristic, so very like deep yellow and a light brown colored head to it. Nice clarity, beautiful looking beer. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, it's it's definitely malt forward. Although I do get a touch of hop note to it. It's a little bit of floral note, a little bit of earthiness, but underneath that, uh, big sweetness. Definitely getting that sort of toffee uh, caramel note from the long boil, that sort of melanoid malt characteristic. Uh, sweet bready notes. A little bit of a fruitiness to, to the beer as well. Like a little bit of a raisin note, but then uh, just, you can tell there's a little bit of a yeast, a fruity yeast ester in there as well. So uh, it smells pretty good, let's dig in, cheers. Yeah, it's very nice, very clean beer. Definitely on the maltier side, although I am picking up a little bit of a hop character. Big sweetness up front, nice dry finish. So it's got really nice balance to it. And I know that's certainly something that, although you want to go to the malty side, you don't want to finish overly sweet. And they did a good job with that balance with the beer. So the sweetness up front is a combination of that, that UK Maris Otter big sweet breadiness biscuity notes then you're getting that really kind of caramelized work characteristic that toffee caramel note that sort of melanoid malt characteristic which is kind of hard to explain but it's just like a just a sweet malt note and then the back end of the beer it dries out that's where I think that roasted barley is coming into play you get a little bit of that floral earthy hop note but mostly you get like that touch of roastiness that kind of, that sort of dark grain, sort of tannin character that really dries out the beer on the finish. Alcohol, you know, 5.8%, that's not even noticeable as you would hope for a beer like this. Um, and, and the balance to it is, is very well done, even though it leans towards the malty side. There's a touch of like a dark fruit, sort of raisin-ish character to it, but other than that, I think it's mostly just subtle fruity yeast ester notes coming through, even though they mentioned the cold fermentation. Uh, it, it did add enough uh, yeast characteristic to to work well with the other flavors, the, the, the malt and then the yeast kind of are the main players with just the hops kind of doing a little bit of bittering and adding a little bit of flavor to the beer. So this is a really nice Scottish ale. I, I don't drink this style a whole lot. It's very cool, a ballast point to brew, uh, what they consider to be a, a traditional example of the style, which is rare to see in San Diego these days. So it's pretty cool that they're brewing up this beer. You just can't really find a lot of non-scotch ale we heavies around usually the breweries around here go for the bigger side of things and while they're not down to like you know the 40 60 shilling type of beer uh, this is a very drinkable stuff somewhat sessionable this is a beer i think would work even better on cask if they did it that way they do barrel age it as well i've, I've had it barrel aged on draft and uh, the base beer although it's not as big as some other beers it works pretty well for uh taking on different types of barrels. Usually they'll use either their rum barrels or their whiskey barrels at Ballast Point to age it in. So uh, definitely recommend checking this out if you've never had like an 80 shilling Scottish type of ale. This is it's probably a pretty good example of that. And uh, one of the few in the county if you're in San Diego or maybe even in Southern California that you can find. So 
Check it out. Uh, nicely brewed beer from Ballast Point. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.